This little guy, show <laughs> photos now. Yeah, there it is. Grew up to be one of Hollywood's hottest stars. Please welcome Ryan Phillippe. <laughs> I was very convinced we were not going to show the photo. Well, you, it came right in. It time. did, right. yes. By, by the way, I, what product were you using in your hair at 14 years old? Um, I, it, it would have had to been, it was all about the wet look back then, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. You know, it was some kind of gel, I'm sure. You got it right. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> so recently you took your son, Deacon, on a road trip. Yeah. We want to hear about this. Was it a surprise? It was a surprise. So he recently had his 17th birthday, and I didn't tell him where we were going. I just said it's going to be a short road trip. Um, and so I picked him up, and we started heading out to the desert, Joshua Tree, um, you know, where all the crazy rocks are, and we did some rock climbing and this and that. I had rented an alien-themed Airbnb. Oh. Um, and then revealed to him that the actual intent of our trip was to try to make contact with alien civilization. <laughs> Oh my gosh, did so you? There, did you? We didn't. So there's a there's a ufologist named Dr. Stephen Greer and there's a couple documentaries about him and we he has an app and so the app is supposed to take you through steps that that increase the chances of making some kind of contact. The problem is we went too deep into Joshua Tree and lost <laughs> signal. So we couldn't really use the app. But we did lay out in the middle in the middle of the night. We laid in the rocks and had a great uh, father and son bonding moment. But no alien. Contact. How far was Area 51 from where you were? Well, I mean, Joshua Tree is California, about you know hour and a half uh, east of LA, and Area 51 is Nevada. So you didn't figure that? Yeah, I know. You didn't get to figure out what's going on I there. I love though. I, I maybe. love that you know you can in California you can drive to so many different. Um, Landscapes. Yeah, the topography yeah. is so different there that mm -hmm. you can be in the desert mm -hmm. in such a short amount of time. It doesn't require an airplane. You can just drive there. It's, it's what do you Yeah, there were times when I was young, what, what when you I first see? moved to L.A., where you could snowboard in the afternoon and then drive down and surf, you know, an hour and a half later. There's very few places in the world you can do that. Yeah, well, what do you guys listen to when you road trip? Do you have a playlist? Um, you know, we're both really into hip hop. Deacon now is actually making music and producing songs. He's got a couple of singles out as a producer. But one uh, specific moment I remember is we were doing a road trip to Yellowstone a couple years back, and the new Travis Scott album at the time, it was Astro World, had just come out, and we were both really anticipating this new Travis Scott album. And so our first listen was on this road trip as we're passing the most beautiful, enormous mountains on our way into Yellowstone. And that's something that I'll, I won't forget. How about a dad that listens to Travis Scott, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, not, a, not our childhood. No, my, ki my kid's dad listens to Travis well, Yeah, that's Scott. right. I guess it's the yeah. generational thing, It's the right? generational Because we were listening to the piano music of Richard Claterman. <laughs> <laughs> I will come, <laughs> we'll come back and talk about Big Sky with Ryan right uh, We're back with Ryan Phillippe, star of the new uh, hit ABC show, Big Sky. A smash success, I'm, I'm declaring. This is a great show. I mean, it's really, the cast is phenomenal. First of all, you start with David E. Kelly, whose track record in this industry speaks for itself. Picket Fences, Ali McBeal, Big Little Lies. Um, and now it's interesting to see him go into a genre we don't typically associate him with in, in, in the mystery thriller sense. And uh, it's, it's a cliffhanger, this show. It's an edge of your seat. You can't wait for the next episode. Lots of twists and turns. You know, I love Kylie Bunbury so much. I just think she's an extraordinary actress and really so, so talented. When did you film this show? Like, when did you, because I'm, I'm amazed that it shows in? are coming Whatever. out yeah. right now. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. fascinated. So we were in, we were in pre-production uh, prior to the pandemic. We were about to go right into shooting. And so we obviously, it was six, seven months later before we actually got behind a camera. And we were one of the first productions back. So it was very much about finding your way through all these new COVID protocols. And we were tested every other day. The crew was in full PPE and we were organized according to zones that weren't meant to intermix. Uh, so it took away a lot of the social aspect of, of, of making television. Um, but once you got on set and you're opposite great actors like Kylie or Catherine, everything started to feel somewhat normal, you know? You know, uh, David E. Kelly, he just makes amazing content, amazing yeah. programs, right? He's so good. What does the E stand for? 
I actually don't know, but I'm going to take a guess and say Edward. No. Well, what, let, find out You're and wrong. let us it's know. It's excellence. It's David Excellence <laughs> Kelly. Will you let him know that we appreciate David's excellence? <laughs> Man, I should I should have gone with Kelly's answer. No, it's. it's I, I've always wondered what he the told was. me. Sometimes we chat offline. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. They but, have several uh, projects yeah. in the works. Yes, yeah, several lots of talks. Several projects. Uh, Big Sky <laughs> series premiere tonight, 10 o'clock, ABC. Ryan Phillippe, a great to see you. Hit. Thank you, guys. Great seeing you. See you. Take care of yourself. Right. What's next? What's next?